The Nike Vomero 17 is a premium daily trainer. It's designed to be a durable workhorse for every type of run. Now in the Nike lineup, the Vomero isn't the max cushion trainer, but it's a more premium version of the Pegasus. It's the shoe that you get if the Pegasus doesn't have enough cushioning for you, but the Invincible has too much cushioning. Last year we didn't get a Vomero update and the previous year the Vomero 16 was just an upper update with the tongue changed. But this year we get a shoe that's completely redone. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run 80 kilometers in the Vomero 17 and this is my full review. The biggest and most noticeable update in this new version is the removal of Zoom Air. And Zoom Air has always been the Vomero's signature technology. But now that it's gone, it brings a number of improvements. Firstly, the ride is smoother because you no longer feel that lump under your forefoot from where the airbag was. Secondly, the ride is softer because Zoom Air was firm. And thirdly, it feels more energetic because Zoom X has more energy return than Zoom Air. I find it to be a really versatile trainer. It's plush enough for easy runs and it's also firm enough for up-tempo runs. It's a little bit too heavy to race in, but it has more than enough cushioning for a full marathon. In my rotation, I use it for easy and recovery runs. The outsole is the Vomero 17's best feature. It's covered with plenty of thick, high abrasion rubber, so outsole durability definitely won't be an issue. The Vomero 17's upper isn't as plush as its predecessor because it has a thinner tongue and it has less padding in the collar. The tongue is attached to an inner sleeve, so this upper feels warm, and if your feet sweat a lot, this upper might be a problem because breathability isn't great. For me, the fit is true to size, but it's a little bit longer than the average running shoe, so it might feel too big when you first put it on. But it's got a really narrow toe box, so I think true to size is perfect. The Vomero 17 is a fantastic update, and it's one of my favorite versions to date. They've made the exact changes that I wanted, and as a result, the Vomero 17 feels smoother and plusher than previous versions. It's also got a thicker midsole, but it still weighs less than the Vomero 16, which is really impressive. I think $160 is a bit too much for this shoe because at $160, you're competing with max cushion trainers like the Triumph, the Glycerin, and the Max Road. All of those are more comfortable than this shoe and return more energy. The Vomero 17, however, is the best Nike daily trainer in the 2023 range. If you've tried the Vomero 17 and you're enjoying it as much as I am, please let us know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to Running Shoes Guru.